Welcome back to Learning Body. This is Sir Marvin and today I am going to teach you how to use the subordinating conjunction in sentences. Since in this channel I have already discussed about coordinating conjunction, ngayon naman, pag-aaralan natin kung paano pag ginagamit ang subordinating conjunction. So kung bago ka pala dito sa aking channel, please consider liking this video, sharing this video to your friends so that they will know that we have this kind of video tutorial. Also, you may comment down below for your topic suggestions. And don't forget to hit the notification bell para like and update it sa aking mga bagong video. Hello there, this is Sir Marvin and today we are going to talk about how to compose clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structures. Today we will be talking about subordinate conjunction. Tandaan ang subordinate conjunctions, tinatawag din subordinating conjunctions. So we have the objectives for today's lesson. A. Identify the subordinate conjunctions. B. Complete sentences using appropriate subordinate conjunctions. Tandaan ang subordinate conjunctions examples because, as, in order that, since, and that. Marami pa tayong halimbawa sa susunod na slides. Alright? Tandaan ang conjunction is a part of speech which joins words, phrases, clauses, or sentences. Right? Ang subordinating conjunction, uulitin natin ang mga halimbawa, because, as, in order that, since, that, Although, so that, and unless. Alright, so matututunan natin ngayon kung paano ba sila ginagamit sa mga pangungusa. How are we going to create clear sentences using subordinating conjunctions? Tandaan na ginagamit ang subordinating conjunctions to create sentences that are complex or complex sentences. Alright, uulitin natin no, ang subordinating conjunctions kagaya ng coordinating ay tinatawag na joining words kasi nagdudugtong sila o nag-join sila ng words, ng phrases, ng clauses, or ng sentences. Alright? So, tandaan na ang subordinating conjunctions or so, subordinating conjunction combines or connects independent and dependent clauses. No? Ang sugnay na makapag-iisa at ang sugnay na hindi makapag-iisa. Pwedeng mag-compose ang ating complex sentence ng isang independent and two or more dependent clauses. In our example, tingnan natin dito. Meron tayo dito halimbawa, I went home because I forgot my wallet. Ang ginamit ng conjunction ay subordinating which is because. Meron tayong dalawang naka-underline dyan na clauses. Ang isa ay independent, ang isa ay dependent. At sinina sa ating halimbawa, kasama ang ating subordinating conjunction sa underlined words no, or clause na subordinating clause or dependent clause kasi ito ay hindi o hindi nagpapahayag ng buong kaisipan. Because I forgot my wallet. So, hindi siya kompleto. Unlike sa isa or sa una na I went home na meron siyang subject at meron siyang verb or meron siyang predicate which expresses complete thought. No? Kahit tanggalin siya sa pangungusap, kaya niyang mag-stand alone. Ulitin natin, meron siyang subject and predicate. Remember that the independent clause should have a complete thought or kaisipan na tinatawag in Filipino. Alright? Huwag kalilimutan. So, sa kalang mga approve ng isang clause ay independent kapag siya ay may expression or complete thought. Alright, so let's proceed with another example. Alright, remember this. Independent clause can stand by itself. On the other hand, a dependent clause, although it has a subject and a predicate, it cannot stand by itself because it does not express or have a complete idea. No? Walang buong kaisipan. Putol kumbaga. No? Kaya siya tinatawag na dependent. Hindi siya kayang mag-stand alone. No? Ngayon, ano naman ang complex sentence? Tandaan na a sentence that consists of one independent clause and at least one dependent clause or two or more dependent clauses ay tinatawag na complex sentence. Alright? So, we have here the functions or category for the functions of subordinating conjunctions. We have time. Ano yung mga under ng time? 
after, as soon as, until, whenever. For comparison, we have rather than, than, whether. For concession, we have though, although, even though. For relative pronouns, we have who, whoever, whose, and whom. For condition, we have if, only if, unless, provided that. For the reason, we have because, since, so that, in order to. For relative adjectives, we have that, whatever, and which. For manner, we have how, as though, as if. And for place, we have where and where ever. Tandaan ito ang mga bagay o mga salita na ginagamit to express subordinating conjunction. Alright? Let's have an example. Let's have this example. After the mass, the people went to the plaza. This example, mapapansin natin no, na we have used the subordinating conjunction after and siya ay naka-place sa unahan ng pangungusap. So, pwede po ito, no? So, ang after shows time, no? Kasi after, my time. After the mass is our dependent clause o tinatawag natin subordinating clause. Kaya ito tinatawag na subordinating clause kasi ito ay nagsisimula sa subordinating conjunction na after. At ang ating independent clause ay ang The people went to the plaza. What did the people do? The answer, they went to the plaza. Meron itong kaisipan or may ipinapahiyag ang pangungusap na ito. Siya nga pala, ang pangungusap or ang complete sentence ay pwedeng tawagin clause sa isang newly created or composed sentence kagaya ng compound and complex or compound complex sentences. Pero hindi lahat ng us ay tinatawag na sentence. Dahil ang iba sa kanila ay hindi complete or tinatawag na dependent clause. Alright? So let's proceed with subordinating conjunction for comparison. We are going to use the word rather than. I prefer using pen rather than laptop when I write stories. So, Hinahati ng rather than ang dalawang clauses. Ang isa ay independent, ang isa naman ay dependent clause. Basta tandaan itong ating rather than, tingnan no, nabibilang siya sa green line. Alright? So, ibig sabihin, simula dyan hanggang dulo, ang tawag dyan ay subordinating clause or dependent clause. Nakadepende siya sa ating I prefer using pen na tinatawag naman ating independent clause. Alright? Tandaan, ang rather than, siya ang sinisimula ng subordinating clause or dependent clause. Pero siya ang ating ginamit na conjunction. Now, let's proceed with example for concession. Even though, when we say concession, it is an act to accept, ano, tinatanggap yung pagkakamali, ano, or defeat sa isang argument. Now, let's have the example. Luke wrote the script in English miniskit presentation, even though it was assigned to Ian. So, we still have the same labeling. Ganon pa rin, may independent, may dependent, at may ginamit na conjunction, which is subordinating. Let's proceed with the example 4, relative pronoun, whoever. Whoever you ask, you will get the same answer. In this sentence, no, nasa unahan ng ating conjunction, whoever. Simula sa whoever hanggang sa ask, yan ang ating dependent clause. Simula sa you hanggang answer, yan ang ating independent clause. Whoever ang ating ginamit na subordinating conjunction. Relative pronouns, whoever, pwede rin namang nasa gitna. No? Kung kanina nasa unahan, ngayon naman nasa gitna. You will get the same answer, who it, whoever you ask. So, sir, pwede ba ito? Pwede po. Basta tingnan lamang ang kanyang construction. Kapag ganito ang forma, susunod ang ating dependent clause or subordinating conjunction, whoever, sa kuwit. O kahit anong conjunction or subordinating conjunction, susunod siya sa kuwit. Alright? Next example. Let's have this one. Let's have the example for condition. If ang ating gagamitin. You will pass the test if you will review. We have the same label, independent clause, dependent clause, and subordinating conjunction used. Tandaan, nagpapakita ito ng kondisyon. Nasabing makakapasa ka kung ikaw ay magre-review. Next example, he will not permit you to stay unless you comply with the requirements. Dito ang ginamit natin ay 
unless bilang subordinating conjunction. Simula sa unless hanggang sa ating requirements, tawag doon ay dependent clause or subordinating clause. Simula sa he hanggang stay, ang tawag doon ay independent clause. Alright, so I hope natutunan ninyo yun. Next, let's proceed. Alright, so this is a reminder, no? Try to write and use these subordinating conjunctions in communication. Kasi kung hindi mo itatry, hindi mo matututunan. Next, let's have the subordinating conjunction. We will be using relative adjectives dito which ang ating gagamitin. This is the bag which I bought from Baguio City. Now, itong ating example ay mayroong subordinating conjunction na bibihira lamang gamitin ng mga elementary uh, students, no? Yung which tinatawag na relative adjective. Kasi ang kinutukoy nito ay yung bag, no? Which I bought from Baguio City. The answer is bag, alright? Next, let's talk about manner. Subordinating conjunction used, how? My mother asked me how I finished my project. Dito, kaya siya nakakategorize sa manner dahil how? Ibig sabihin, paano? Paano ginawa ang isang bagay? Pinapakita, no? So, nandito pa rin, ganun pa rin, may independent clause, may dependent clause, at ang ating how nga, ang ating subordinating conjunction. My mother asked me how I finished my project. How I finished my project. So, dahil siya ay incomplete, siya ay subordinating clause. And let's have our last example for place. This is the park where we practiced our dance presentation. Dito sa ating example, of course, may independent at may dependent ulit. Ang ginamit natin ay where, no? For place kasi where nga. Now, tinutukoy ng where ay yung park. Ang tawag dito ay subordinating conjunction used to express or indicate place. Wake up, wake up! This is our directions for our practice. Complete each sentence using the correct subordinating conjunctions. Write your answers on the comment section below. Go! Done? So here are the answers. Again, this is for Marvin and I hope na marami kang natutunan ngayong araw na ito. See you next week at dito nagtatapos ang ating video tutorial. Sana ay marami kang natutunan at magamit mo ito sa iyong pagsasalita o kaya naman sa pagsusulat. Hanggang sa muli, until next video, this is your Sir Marvin, your learning buddy.